Hey guys, it's Molly. I am without Julia today because I want to do a quick vlog to tell you guys about something. <clears throat> Last night at my job, I got hurt. I work in a deli. I'm not going to say which one. Haha, <laughs> vegetarian working in a deli. It's, it's a joke that uh, we all do at the deli. It is kind of funny, actually, a vegetarian working at a deli. I mean, like, come on. Um, but gotta make money somehow. Anyway, there's plastic around the meat and I needed to open up something. And we use knives, you know, sharp knives. Cut it open and... I got something besides the plastic. Don't worry, I'm okay. I mean, I had to go to the hospital. Excuse the random light, that is just my phone. So I'm gonna show you guys this. Okay. Those were pictures that I took at the hospital last night while waiting for the doctor to get back so that she could glue the cut shut. It... It was... It was bad. It, it was bad. It was a deep cut. I'm just grateful I didn't need stitches. Like, that's all I can say about this. I'm just so grateful I didn't need stitches. I was at the hospital for about two hours. Most of it was just waiting. I mean, it wasn't as serious as other people. I didn't have like a sprained ankle. I didn't have a heart attack. I didn't like break something. It was just a slightly deep cut. It seemed a lot deeper while I was there. You know, while I was there waiting until like we actually got to take a very good look at it because at work I couldn't take a good look at it because we'll say that I cut my thumb around 6.15 and I went home a little after 8 um, and for that entire time, for about two hours, it wouldn't stop bleeding. It just wouldn't, no matter, no matter what we wrapped around it. We put a small band-aid on it with like some medical tape to hold it in place. As soon as I took it off, just like squirted with blood. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're squeamish um, about talking about me talking about this, please just stop watching the video at this point because it's only going to get worse from here. Um, next, well, my coworker was on break. She came back. She uh, found out that I cut myself. Um, and I was just like holding a paper towel to my thumb because it's like, it, it just wouldn't stop bleeding. It wouldn't stop. My other co-worker who was there, I had already told the supervisor and he was the one who told me to put the band-aid on and we don't have big band-aids in the deli, um, so we kind of had to go to a different section of the store to find um, other band-aids. I am not going to say where I work. Just like with every... <clears throat> work story that I do, I will never say where I work. But what I will say is that we have a lot of sections at my job. Um, I work in the deli section and it's a little annoying not to have like big band-aids and such. Um, but thing is the cut didn't even hurt until I like put a disinfecting wipe on it and then it just started stinging like hell. 
It's like on and off stinging, actually. Anyway. Sorry, my throat is bothering me a little today. Um. So. My coworker who came back from break goes and finds a manager because the manager ne managers need to be aware of this and the manager has like her go find a first aid kit that actually has like a lot of stuff in it stuff that we needed I get like this huge band-aid put on it and you know and medical tape wrapped around it and it's like so tight that it hurts when I tried to work so my coworker had me take that off and she wrapped it with gauze and then wrapped medical tape around it and it bled through the gauze like so quickly it bled through the band-aid also and so after she saw how quickly it bled through the gauze she went and got like another big band-aid and she tried that again and that's the point where like the manager like took down my info for an accident report and then sent me home because I could not work. You try slicing with a thumb that just won't stop bleeding. It's very hard. Especially on my left hand, that's the hand that like catches the meat or cheese and like puts it on the paper. Because we gotta like weigh the stuff. Um, it's very hard to do that though. And so... I called my dad and he when I got home he drove me to the hospital because I don't know where the hospitals are and plus it's so annoying to drive without the use of one of your thumbs because you gotta drive like this and you gotta like make sure that your thumb is like up and like not like turned when you when you like do a turn you gotta make sure that your thumbs like still up because then like it's going to just heavily bleed. I had to keep my thumb up the entire time. Which again is hard when you have to catch meat and put it on or cheese and put it onto a piece of paper. Luckily we have gloves, so I didn't like bleed on anything. Except the trash can. But that's okay because we wear gloves when taking out the trash also. And so I went to the hospital and they they made me wait a while um you know that's okay they had other people to take care of then i was like soaking my hand in a saline solution for probably about an hour i had to get a tetanus shot um right around here because it was a metal knife and that we had no idea when my last tetanus shot was and so god I was hoping this would be a short vlog it's getting kinda long but um, a little while later the doctor came back she glued the cut shut. I also had a cut on this finger, but it wasn't as bad. She glued that shut also, but the glue has already like worn off of it. Either that or I accidentally rubbed it off in my sleep. Always a possibility. But I woke up this morning to like check on it and there was like no glue there. Oh well. So yeah, and I am not allowed to go back to work until Monday. So I usually have a shift on Sundays. I had to be taken off of that shift because doctor's orders. And the very sucky part is that now my work has to fill out insurance information so that I can get workman's comp for this so that they can pay the hospital bill because since it was a work accident they have I think it's by law since I did get an accident report or at least I'm getting an accident report filled out um, they by law have to take care of this I don't know I'm not entirely sure how this works 
never really gotten injured like this and actually had an accident report filled out. Yes, I got injured on the job once at my old job and I never got an accident report filled out, but that is another story for another time of my stupidity. <clears throat> but I just, but like after two hours at the hospital, I finally get discharged and I go home and I get pizza on the way home because my dad's nice and I was hungry. And so today I'm not exactly happy, but I'm not exactly miserable either because, you know, things happen and I'm okay. I'm okay. It could have been worse. That's what I always say. It could have been worse. No matter what happens, it could most of the time be worse. But with me, it's always it could have been worse. So yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a bit, you know, give you an update on my life since this is something that was really bad. I just, I, I didn't like it, but I think things happen, you know? And I was talking to my friends the whole time. They were all like really worried. I was talking to girlfriend Julia and she was she was worrying like she was kind of sad but I there was no point in the both of us being sad so I told her to cheer up and like she had hung out with our friends so like that was a that was a good thing that like my friends were like hanging out and like because then it's like you know then I don't have to repeat it over text to like 500 people because if all my friends were hanging out while I was talking about this, they could just, like, tell each other and give each other updates. So anyway, that is it for today. Maybe I'll have Juliet do a vlog sometime later and she'll, up and she'll upload that on her own. Because I want, like, the video load to be even. From now on. So if we're not like doing a video together and I do a video solo or she does a video solo then I would want like the one who didn't do a solo video to do one. But that's just what I want. It's up to her. So anyway that is all for now. I will see you probably on Thursday. Alright. Bye bye. Oh,